Hey you guys, Erin and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So today the three of us are actually going to be sharing three easy ways to go vegan going into the new year. We are talking about whole foods, plant-based. So the optimal way to eat vegan for your health, for the planet, and for the animals. Let's jump right into it. Number one, the first step that we always tell people to take is to add before you subtract. So that means when you go to the grocery store, come home with more produce, whole foods, fruits and veggies to stock your pantry and your refrigerator so that you can start to crowd out the bad on your plate with more of the good. Yes, yeah, so I know when we first went vegan, I really struggled with trying to go cold turkey, right? We just got rid of like all the milk and all the cheese and I didn't know what to have instead. So we always recommend now upgrade your milks like don't just get rid of things make an upgrade so you can figure out what you like instead so like Aaron said add before you subtract that also includes coming up with new recipes developing yes. new recipes with these added healthy whole foods in your pantry and in your fridge and that might mean you go out and you buy a great recipe book or download a great recipe app yep. we've got a handful we can share with you guys or one other thing that we've really found helpful is a meal delivery service. Yes, so there are tons and tons out there, but we have found definitely our favorite, the one that seems to be the cleanest, Daily Harvest. Yes, so big shout out and thank you to Daily Harvest for sponsoring this video. <laughs> yes. And like Dusty said, these are clean, whole, pure ingredients. They require minimal effort and they have helped us to figure out oh hey I like that ingredient in that recipe I'm gonna start doing that on my own too yep so it's really helped us to get out of our recipe rut totally again these are handy for me when I'm on the go or for all of us actually so again we love these not just for ideas but for convenience and obviously for health Okay, so I grabbed out one of each just to show you guys what their options are. Basically, they make it really easy to have options for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything in between, even desserts. So I really, really love the either the, one of the smoothies or the oat bowls for breakfast. And like we already said, they are all whole food ingredients, super transparent. And these little stars actually indicate organic ingredients, which you can see everything in most of them is. Then the harvest bowl, which has like grains, sweet potatoes, avocado, things like that, could work out great for either lunch or dinners. And then they've got bites, which are fun for snacks or desserts. And again, super healthy whole food ingredients. I'm gonna blend up a smoothie really quick because Max is hungry and so are we. But like Dusty said, when he's on the go, he loves to take these with him. I also love to have these at home when my hands are full and I don't have a whole lot of time to be making and baking, especially with Mr. Max over here. All you have to do is add in your liquid of choice. I'm gonna be using oat milk today. So I'm just gonna fill it up to the top and then pour all of the ingredients into my little mini blender here. Some for baby and the rest for mom. One of my favorites is the oat bowl. This thing has like 500 calories, which is good for me. If you guys have watched any of my What I Eat In Days, you know that I'm always packing in the calories, but this, it's ridiculously easy. So anyway, I usually take this with me or I can whip it up in the morning. Same thing, add your plant milk, throw it in a pan, cook it up, and you've got a meal in just a few minutes. So number one, add before you subtract. Give yourself time to build your recipe repertoire. Use other people's recipes, like I said, blogs, YouTube, and use these meal delivery services to kind of help get the ball rolling, get your inspiration juices flowing, and enjoy the process. Tip number two is take 
baby steps. So take your time and enjoy the process. There are three different ways that I like to recommend for you to start. Number one would be to start with just one meal a day. So maybe that means a smoothie for breakfast, or maybe that means a salad for lunch, or maybe it means a hearty veggie stew for dinner. Pick one of those three and stick with it for a period of time before you veganize your other two meals for the rest of the day. The other way you could go is to pick just one animal product to eliminate at a time. So that would be either meat, dairy, or eggs. Maybe you go without the creamer in your coffee and you choose for a plant-based alternative instead. The third and final way to take baby steps would be to challenge yourself. So try out a 30 to 40 day challenge. Dusty and I did that and we felt amazing. If you haven't already watched our story, we will link that below so you can hear more about our experience doing that. So pick one of those, but take your time. And like I said, just enjoy the process. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's the best way to sustain this diet long-term. So our third and final step is a three for one. This is commit, connect, and clean up. So first you need to commit. Tell yourself that you're ready now, you're going full on vegan and just do it. Tell your family, tell your friends, get on social media and let people know that you're committing. Connect with them. Connect, like I said, on all forms of social media. Invite your friends over, have a dinner party. Make your plant-based diet a new lifestyle thing that you invite other that you invite other people in on. And the third part of that is to clean up. So do like Aaron and I did, and that is clean out your pantry, clean out your fridge, and don't shop the meat and dairy egg aisles, right? So if you don't have these foods in your pantry or in your fridge, you're not gonna be tempted to eat them because you don't have them. Those are our top three tips for how to go vegan in this new year. All right, you guys, there you have it. Your three easy ways to go vegan or whole food plant-based into the new year. Yes. So to sum it up, we have add before you subtract. Take baby steps. And commit, connect, and clean up. Yes. To simplify all of that, it all boils down to preparing, practicing, and sustaining it long-term. Yes, so again, include people in on this journey with you. It's so important to have someone, whether it's a friend, a spouse, or a group of people. Like we mentioned before, have a dinner party. Like make this a group thing and team up. It makes it a whole lot easier. If you guys like this video, if you wanna see more like it, give it a thumbs up. Join us here at the Eat Move Rest fam by clicking that subscribe button and clicking that bell so you'll get notified when we put out new content on our channel. Yep. Leave us some love in the comments below and follow us daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik. Yep. Max will be there too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you guys, we seriously recommend Daily Harvest. We've got a freezer full of the stuff. It is legit. We've got a coupon code in the description below. Click it, save some money, and give it a try. This will help you succeed. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Eat, move, rest. Yo, Yo best. best. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.